In tonight's Northwest Grown, we are also celebrating Native American Heritage Month. A popular pop-up restaurant, Javelina, is making waves here in Portland. Head chef Alexa Nimkina Anderson tells me a big source of inspiration for her cooking comes from her heritage. She is enrolled Hopi, also part Yakima, Cree, and Skokomish, and she's proud of her Mexican roots from her dad. So I feel like every single time that I'm making a dish or sharing this food, it's like my own act of rebellion of I'm here, I exist against the better <laughs> nature of whatever people tried to do. Bold food from the kitchen of a chef who is proud to share how her identity is reflected in her cooking. Head chef and owner of Javelina, Alexa Nomkina Anderson. <laughs> For some diners who stop into her pop-up restaurant, it's their first time tasting and learning about the Native American dish, fry bread. Well, that's pretty traditional to like something that you'd find at powwows or for like fundraisers on the reservation. Um, it has a pretty dark history to it. It comes based off of when people were put onto reservations and given government rations of food instead of being able to get their own food themselves from the land. Um, and so that's where a lot of the health disparities have come into play is because they were given a lot of low nutrition food items instead to survive off of. Alexa is reshaping how fry bread is perceived. There's just this thing where people who go through hardships, they take something and they turn it into something good that gets them by. Um, fry bread has been one of those things and so now it's like a comforting thing. The Javelina menu offers a plain fry bread or a fry bread taco that has bean and bison chili, tomato, sour cream, lettuce, and shredded cheese. Do you have an early memory of fry bread and how comforting it is for you too? Yeah, it all reminds me of my grandma. Um, there was this one time we had my grandpa Paul visiting. Uh, in our culture, my grandma's brothers and sisters are also my grandmas and grandpas. Uh, so he was visiting and she was teaching him how to make fry bread and he was a photographer. And so he had me like taking video of it while she was teaching him. And it was just a really sweet moment, like getting to watch her teach her older brother how to make fry bread. A dish made with simple ingredients is complex in its significance for Alexa and for many people who can relate to the meaning in it. Her menu, she hopes, will nourish in more ways than one. I mean, for one thing, I want people to feel full and happy and like the food is super tasty. Uh, a lot of the other part of it is I want native folks to feel seen and like they have a place at the table. It's just so special and for me, food is like it's love, it's power, it's knowledge, it's community. So I just want people to show up, ask questions, try the food, come see what we're doing. Well, Alexa plans to have a brick and mortar within two years. She tells me somewhere on Portland's east side is where she envisions it. And she already knows it would also be a place for other native events to happen, as well as a teaching kitchen. And for her menu for sugary options, Havelina also offers some sweet items. That includes powdered sugar or cinnamon sugar fry bread. Really delicious food coming from her heart, you guys. You know, what's neat about some of these Northwest Grown's is you're really getting family recipes mm -hmm. that they're there and sharing with yeah. the public, which is pretty incredible. Yeah. It's really neat.